Lisa Rodriguez is from the United Kingdom, England. Okay, Lisa from the UK. Yep, from okay. the UK. Okay. And I'm a guest at the Royalton. Okay. And I believe that the treatment of the staff is disgusting. Okay. These staff. Let's speak a little louder because it's about All right. nice. Yeah. I think the staff deserve better. They deserve better pay. They deserve to have food and drinks during the day. It shouldn't be that they have to pay for their own food and their own drinks. It's not acceptable. And no, not even water. They're not even allowed to take their own water in. How is that acceptable? You know, we're in 2024. We're not in the back old days where people got nothing. You are de They deserve everything. They treat us with respect. They're amazing to us, caring, considerate. They are a credit to themselves. And the way they're being treated is not acceptable. They deserve fairness. And this isn't fair. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. No problem. Um, you'll be here for how long? I'm here for two weeks. I go to the Rio at Montego Bay on not this Thursday, the following Thursday. Okay, so for the next two weeks, I'm here. here. Yep. And if there is, during your stay, if you don't see any change, I don't Please. see any imp I'm, before then I'm going to be emailing Rolt and giving them what for and telling them that this isn't acceptable that you know that people who pay to come here pay good money it isn't like you're paying nothing to come here and Rolt and are obviously getting the money why are they not passing it on why are they not passing it on to their staff that's not fair so they need to do more Thank you very much. No problem. No problem. You're watching Jamaica YouTube TV. So we get it exactly how we tell it. No fabrication. You got it? So just like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and look a bless outside saying. And well, well, well. Wow, JY family as a hotel worker. Me love this. Me love to see the support where the royalty and staff them get. You know, this prove our powers as workers, you know, in these industries, Yaman and these companies, whatever, you know, when we join together and say, look here, enough is enough. Yeah, we can get justice and we can get satisfaction. And I hope a lot of persons are watching this and see that uh, united we stand divided we fall jy family we have a lot of things to give you know, in this vlog but from me get up this morning persons been texting me and said jy we need an update upon what's going on at royalton so please guys subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon to be notified and like and share the video it's my duty to go above and beyond and give you guys the daily updates and follow up. So, we soon come back, listen to Wagwan, and then we are going to get up to date with some stories. It's a carry out an operation and kill the leader of the ski mask gang in Trelawney, and a man got electrocuted down there in Westmoreland after holding a zinc fence. And you uh, remember the candy vendor who stopped, who cut up the two school youth them? You will be surprised to hear what the reason leading to that um, knife up. So stick around. We soon come back. So Tui asked us to give it 24 hours after the strike to see what happens next. We've had no water, no coffee, no towels, no toilet roll. Uh, food is very, very scarce uh, if you're not fast, you last. No restaurants, no security, no lifeguards. Um, <laughs> literally, I should have stayed at home, but let's see what the result will be today. I'm hoping for full refund. Um, not so for anything less. I think the strike is good. The staff are treated appallingly. They're not allowed any water. If they're caught drinking water at work, they are found fined a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars and they only get paid $2 an hour. 
um, no food. They're not allowed to eat while they're at work. And for a very large corporation like this, it is appalling. The amount of waste in food alone could feed the whole families. They could literally just take it home and feed them all. And I think happy staff, happy hotel, that means happy residents, and so on. Um, but I'm with them. I was out there protesting with them yesterday. And I believe they should be standing up for the rights and many more should follow. Um, but let's see what do we have to say today because all I got yesterday is thank you for your patience and your understanding. I have no understanding and I have no patience. Um, I think it's wrong on TUI by putting hotels for sale um, where they their staff gets treated so bad and shame on them especially when it costs so much to stay here, you would think they would benefit from that. We always fetch tips, a lot of them, and we always look after the staff every time we come. Many of them are friends, and I would like to call family. Um, but unfortunately, we can't tip everyone. Um, let's see what happens today. Update. <laughs> really don't know what to say. Um, it's not been the day I expected. Um, I now have toilet roll. I only waited 36 hours. I now have water in the fridge, um, which took a little bit longer. Um, I managed to find some lunch, um, but none of the jerky chicken hearts or anything like that's open. However, I've been fed. Um, however, very upset. <laughs> I had some tears this afternoon, um, I guess some people are not very happy with my TikToks. Um, I speak the truth, I have every right to be angry, upset, um, anxious, nervous and very much disappointed. I am not disappointed at all with the staff. I am with them, agree with them. Um, most of them are in work, however, there is some still strikes. Um, they have had a meeting today with management and management have promised to take a look at their request to see moving forward. Yes, so we are aware of the recent protest action by staff at one of our major resorts. Uh, while companies occasionally face staff-related issues, it is rare for these to escalate to the point of protest. So, so we take these concerns very seriously and fully understand the importance of our tourism workers to the success of the industry and Jamaica's growth overall. Now, discussions between the resorts, management and staff are ongoing and we're hopeful that a positive resolution will be reached or arrived at soon. Uh, nonetheless, Minister Bartlett, along with key officials from the Ministry of Tourism and, and uh, the Tourism Product Development Company Limited and the Jamaica Tourist Board, will be visiting the resort tomorrow to meet with the management and members of staff uh, to, to, to see where we are as it relates to the deliberations that are taking place. Um, our tourism workers are the backbone of the industry and we remain committed uh, to supporting them while maintaining the growth and development of the broader tourism sector. We believe though that through dialogue and mutual understanding that the issues uh, will be resolved um, as soon as possible. The Ministry of Labour and Social Security is aware of industrial action taken by approximately 200 workers employed at the Royal Tanigrill Hotel. The complaints from the workers included provisions for canteen facilities and management and employee relations, among other things. Since then, we have conducted preliminary investigations and I have spoken directly with a senior executive from the Royalton Group who is now on the island. The ministry team has been advised by the corporate management of the Royalton Group that normalcy return to the facility today following local level talks with the staff to iron out the contentious issues. It is our duty to ensure that all workers enjoy the highest level of worker management relations and also to ensure that there is an internal mechanism for amicable resolving of these disputes. As such, the Ministry continues to monitor this situation 
um, and to ensure the implementation of long-term solutions to address the concerns of these workers. So yes, JY family, you know, hear everything what's going on now. This is the latest development. The general manager of Royal Tan Negril in Westmoreland has been suspended days after over 200 workers protest alleged poor working condition. The news following the meeting Wednesday involving tourism minister Edmund Bartlett, the workers and the hotel management. So yes. The, the the message was well received yeah man so let us see where it goes from here and i hope other hotel employers you know are seeing this and uh, take this if you guys know that you are not uh, treating your staff right just know say this is a turning point right now yeah man use this as an example so JY family, spam the comment section and tell me what you want to think. I love the support. Big up to all the tourists, you know, yeah, who to make this test, well, I would say a successful one. I don't know what to say yet because I don't know sometimes them say, boy, yeah, them just do something for me. We think, say, yo, everything good and then before you know it. So, but let's see but big up to the tourists them who really support this worthy cause you know yeah man we kick start the stories them know because the first one we are going to start with is the cotton candy vendor cotton candy vendor charge of our stabbing student who reportedly laugh at him wanna hear that students who reportedly laugh at him make that sink 30 year old cotton candy vendor of ghetto district in Senton has been slapped with wounding with intent charge after reportedly stabbing two students for allegedly making fun of him according to the police report the man try adams was selling cotton candy when he got into an argument with a group of boys whom he threatened to kill for laughing at him. Adamso allegedly used a knife to stab two of the boys before fleeing the area on foot. The boys were assisted to the hospital where they were treated and released. A report was made to the Falmouth police and Adamso was subsequently arrested. He was a positively identified and charge on Tuesday, October 15. A court date for him is being finalized. JY family, on the spam the comment section and talk to me. I'm not going to say nothing about this one. I want to just want to hear this story for yourself. A spam the comment section and tell me what I want to think. Now, JY family, we're going to go to Westmoreland because police have launched manhunt after bartender found dead in Grangeil, Westmoreland my place the morgan bridge police in Grangeil, westmoreland have launched a manhunt for a suspect believed to be connected to the death of his girlfriend whose lifeless body was discovered in a bathtub at her home in top lincoln Grangeil on tuesday evening tim has been identified as a 34 year old carisha rankin a bartender in the area reports indicate that around six 25 p.m. Rankin and her boyfriend were involved in an argument that escalated into a physical confrontation. A relative alerted by the sounds of the altercation contacted the police who arrived to find Rankin's body in the bathroom. The scene was processed and her body was taken to the morgue for postmortem examination. Authorities are now intensifying their search for the boyfriend as the community reels from tragic event well family when they must send out them report yeah, if them really want to catch the culprit them them need to make them pictures available yeah man so we can just show out the report and blast them pictures so everybody can see what go on you know yeah so jy family i don't even know what he told them to say but if you don't have any idea who is the suspect, yeah man, turn him into the police.
because we now have no picture for sure. You know. So we are still in the Westmoreland area. A 24-year-old man electrocuted after touching zinc in Westmoreland. This has been identified as a Williams, a laborer from Thompson Lane, Witton in the parish. The police report that at approximately 2.30 p.m., Williams was on a premises when he touched a piece of zinc that had become entangled with electrical wires. The Witton police are probing the matter. Now, Java family, you know, so when you hear these things, the first thing we jump to a thief in current, ray, ray, ray. No, them say it entangled, the wire entangled, and it had touched the zinc. So, you know, the rest is history. This is what lead to the gentleman demise, Jano Star. So, a data go on, power, what go on. My condolences goes out to William's family. Yeah, man, I yeah, make sure, say. Me debunk those uh, claim about thief in current. You know, whenever these things happen, because West Point and people with a thief current. Yeah, man. We hard working. Talk to them, the JY family. West Point, we no thief current. Not you? Yeah, man. Man linked to ski mask gang kill in shootout with police in Chilani. Gawain Camber, a 29 year old alleged gangster, was killed by the police in a reported shootout in Bunkers Hill, Trelawney on Tuesday. Superintendent Winston Milton told the cleaner that the incident occurred as a police team from Area 1 was searching for a wanted man. Approaching home, Camber opened fire at the police. The police took evasive action and fire back, he said. After the shooting subsided, Camber was seen lying in a pool of, I don't know what that mean. And them sent Camber to meet him, make them fatally arrest and charge Gawain Camber. JY family, spam the comment section and tell me what you think. Big up to the officers, them who will carry out them duty. Me talk about the real one, them. Yeah, man. Make sure say on a like and share the video. It is very important. We now go over where mono because a whole heap of things we go in at this this one report, you know. So we soon come back again. Subscribe to the channel. I just want to say big up and respect to the whole of the staff, them down a royal tan Negril that came out and strike today. I just hope this send a message to the other hotel them in Jamaica who no need to treat with better than how we treat with. When it comes down to the pay, for a tourist destination like Jamaica, there is no excuse you no know, can find to tell we say yo nothing nah, go on. Because majority of who travel at Jamaica they won't come. And some of the hotels to you know, just frig up in a one way where you know, want the staff them to collect no tip when you know, talk about the people them well paid. Where you no know, call well paid. Going home with, with 40 and 30 and 50 thousand dollars two week, is that well paid? When tax and everything draw out of that, is it well paid? Somehow not too corrupt. And I'm just glad for no say at least some people have the intention where a lot of people have, but it's just that them not have the backative. Because you have some of them people here, whenever you say yo, we go do this, you have some of them a back out. But I not tell no lie, man. Royal Tan staff are not big up on yourself. I say my respect down to the ground where you walk on. But you know what stood out to me the most is the fact that I saw some guests. I saw some guests out there on the outside with the staff them and a protest. I even saw this guest in a wheelchair with something marked on a piece of cardboard. We never really did a take notice what was written on there. But I tell you, say I love the look. Big up on yourself and respect for that man. We need to start take a stand. This is Kanaika representing for Jamaica YouTube TV from straight out of Grand Jail. Like, share, and subscribe. That is it. Me love Jamaica, me now sell out. Them try clip we wings, some we can't fly out. But when we there, yeah, nothing nice like Jamaica, rosebud fruit and banana. Under the tree with a glass of.